President Trump, meanwhile, said nothing about the surprise inter-Korean summit for hours. But then he came out and said the talks went well, very well, in fact. President Trump hinted that preparations are still ongoing for his own summit with Kim Jong-un. China's foreign ministry also showed big welcome on the latest developments. Lee ji explains. Hours after news broke of the surprise meeting between the leaders of the two Koreas, President Trump made a short, simple comment on it. Those talks have gone very well. They've gone very well. Fully impressed. The talks have gone very, very well. I'd rather not say, but the talks have gone very well. He also said the U.S. is doing very well in terms of preparations for its own summit with the North and that preparatory meetings were being held as he spoke. Though he said he would not disclose where those meetings are being held, he said it's very close to where they are, Washington, D.C. He then revived hopes of holding the summit on the scheduled date and at the chosen place. It's uh, moving along very nicely, so we're looking at June 12th in Singapore, that hasn't changed, uh, and it's moving along pretty well. So we'll see what happens. This was the first time the U.S. has officially confirmed that the two sides are still working on reinstating the summit after Trump had unilaterally called off the meeting on Thursday. Meanwhile, Reuters reported Saturday that White House spokesperson Sarah Sanders confirmed that an advanced team of White House and State Department officials would leave for Singapore this weekend to prepare for a possible summit there. China's foreign ministry has responded to the latest developments very positively. In response to an email from South Korean newspaper to Kyongyang Shinmun asking for China's response to Saturday's surprise get-together, a reply in the name of spokesperson Liu Kang said that Beijing is watching closely and that it supports efforts by both Koreas to lay a foundation and improve their ties and the regional situation through dialogue. He also said that it's vital for the leaders of the North and the U.S. to talk in order to denuclearize the Korean Peninsula and that the two sides should treasure this opportunity and work with goodwill and patience to move in the same direction. Liu also expressed support for the possible Pyongyang-Washington summit and promised that China, as a neighboring country, will play a constructive role in solving the nuclear issue and settling peace in the region through dialogue. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.